Hi guys, my name is Michael and this is channel not just for the PS Vita fans, welcome. So as you may have noticed, there has been an avalanche of the PS Vita homebrews that swept away the QN contest. In the last few days, there were about 80 new entries added, if I'm counting correctly. I guess everybody is just quickly finishing their creations in order to make a submission before the deadline, which is 7th June. That means yesterday. Therefore, the QN contest is officially over. I can see the sudden change happening on the horizon, and it's magnificent. The sheer mightiness of contests like this cannot be omitted. Quite opposite, it must be cherished for what it strives to accomplish. To help the Vita community to pursue the sudden change by growing the interests towards the homebrew scene. That is the goal like none other. Let's ignite the interest together. I'm igniting it with this video. I was trying to come up with some smart way how to cover at least some of the new entries, but I couldn't make heads or tails out of it, therefore I've just picked the ones that pique my interest the most and I'll be covering the second batch in the upcoming video. So let's just dive right into it. I'm also aware that everybody is just paralyzed right now with their duties towards the bully port, same like myself. But that doesn't mean I uh, can't let it be for a brief moment to focus on some more QN enrichment. So let's begin with the Demons Down, developed by White GCG. It is a first person shooter inspired by classic old school titles like Doom. Enemy sprites and weapon models are from Doom Freeware, so it looks quite faithful to the original. Otherwise the goal of the game consists of uh, staying alive for as long as humanly possible. You are fighting the demons in a smaller enclosed area. You learn your way around there pretty quickly and for every kill demon you gain 10 points. You aim for the highest score clearly to compete against other players of demons down. My highest score is around 1200 which means I distracted like 120 demons which is hard to believe but it's true. There are a couple of ammo pickups scattered around the area but there are no health pickups, therefore as soon as you deplete the health bar the game will crash into error message, because apparently that's the way how the proper homebrew ends, thumbs up for that. If nothing else then I at least enjoyed the blood splashing all over the walls and how I tried to cover every single inch with it. Who wouldn't enjoy that? In case you're gonna check it out don't forget to try out my favorite weapon, Cross the Disruptor, as that is its purpose to disrupt the living matter, and it serves its purpose brilliantly. Size of the demons down is 190 megabytes and it can be downloaded from QN or VitaDB websites, link is down below. Feel free to dematerialize hordes of demons for yourself. Second entry I'm giving my attention to is called Dark Paradigm, developed by Parking Lot Studios. You may have already caught a side of it as I've been already covering this homebrew in one of my previous videos, I will leave the link for it in the right corner in case you want to compare it. But in a nutshell I liked the game even before as it was quite permissive. The premise again is almost identical to the Demons Down as you just trying to repel swarms of zombies that are constantly approaching you. There were many quality life improvements introduced as well as many visual enhancements. Therefore it feels much more polished than before. The map is also different, before it was docks and now you are in different kind of environment, more restricted. I would prefer more open area though like the docks before. The maneuverability in there was much more effortless, therefore it was much more demanding to get cornered. Whereas here as soon as you get cornered uh, the fight is over and you are starting your dark paradigm journey once over again. There were also pickups brought to the table, so when you kill any of the walking dead there is either health or ammo left for you to pick up. You can see the full list of changes on the devs twitter account and you can also expect constant updates in the coming weeks as many modes and features aren't enabled because they need more testing. That's also something to look forward to. 
Dark Paradigm is quite fun to try out. The size is about 316 megabytes and you can download it for free from same old places. By the way guys, if you enjoyed the content, sub to the channel would be greatly appreciated. Third homebrew that is part of the QN contest is called Treasure Chasers, developed by Crate. I've been already covering one of his excellent creations called Circuit Dude, link in the right corner. The Treasure Chasers reminds me a lot of such a simplified version of Corsair game or kind of 2D Assassin's Creed Black Flag. The objective is to simply load the cargo at one of the ports and quickly sell it at another port before any of the enemy pirates can sink you down. The issue that I faced though was that uh, the map that you need to follow was so, so tiny that I couldn't figure out which port is the one I'm supposed to sell the cargo in and usually it ended up with me sailing all over the map and checking one port after another in a race to sell the goods. And the longer it takes you to sell the stuff, the more pirates are chasing you down and the quicker you are about to go down as there is no limit to enemy ships chasing you down and there could be like 4 or 5 of them against a single you. What's more, you can run out of cannon balls in a nick of time and then the only means of defense left is to sprint away to find some more ammo into your cannon which is easier said than done. Generally I rate the treasure chases as a solid homebrew experience. I especially enjoyed destroying of the enemy pirates. In case you find it tempting, make sure to get it for free from same old spots. The size is about 12 megabytes. By the way, don't forget to check out new poll that I created at the community section tab where I'm asking you what game would you pick up as a winner in the first category of the QN contest. Next, the fourth homebrew is called Wonky Adventures, created by Staxta. It is a simple 2D platformer with wonky physics, where your character resembles the figure from the mangas and the environment uh, looks like from Super Mario World or something. So the best of the both worlds, you may say. There is just one minor nitpick I have. Why the hell do I need to use the up button on the D-pad to jump? Are we going back to NES era? Have you tried to play with it? It's freaking impossible. Especially with those wonky physics. I wasn't even able to get the past first level as I just had to rage quit. So please be very careful with this one as it's very rage quit inducing. My attitude towards it could be different if only I could jump with any other button on the whole PS Vita than the freaking D-pad. Look, I'm trying to be honest here and uh, I don't want to be sugarcoating anything as that's not what we're doing here. We want to have good time first and foremost. And unfortunately, there wasn't much of it in the wonky adventures. Besides, the constructive criticism is a valued attitude. So thanks to Dev for the effort. It's much appreciated. And the advice for the next time would be, please don't use the D-pad for the jump anymore. Try more conventional approach. Thanks in advance. Last fifth new entry of the QN contest is titled Boxing Girl and it's easy to see why as you are put in the shoes of this tiny kick-ass girl. It was developed by White GCG, yes the same one that developed Demons Down. 
So he is doubling down on uh, his winning chance, as the chance is naturally much higher when you submit two games instead of one. Well done, bro. Keep the tricks coming. The Boxing Girl is a simple 2D side-scrolling action platformer where you jumping over obstacles, obstacles, where you jumping over obstacles alongside beating down some poor skeleton souls. The controls are a bit finicky, but certainly doable. The visuals are not bad either. Frame rate is solid, and the gameplay, well, I guess it depends who you ask. And I'm asking myself, therefore the answer is coming from the heart. And it goes like this, it's not as much fun as I did expect from it. And that might be partially because I was looking forward to it uh, too much and it didn't meet my expectations, which is probably my fault. I was meant to be more cold-blooded and take the things at their face value and to not expect uh, some well-baked 2D action platformer. Don't get me wrong, there is certainly some nice time to have here, so if the gameplay looks intriguing, don't hesitate and download it for free, the size is about 100 megabytes. Anyway, I feel like most of the devs wanted to meet the contest deadline and submit their games even when they wasn't completely finished, thus we can look forward to more quality life improvements in the near future. And what about you guys? Which homebrew do you like the most? Let me know down below. I had the most fun perhaps with either the Dark Paradigm or Demons Down. The video is coming to its final stage where I tell you, if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and share it with other PS Vita junkies. It means a lot to me and to the YouTube algorithm. The second part of the contestants will be covered in the upcoming video so make sure you subscribe in order not to miss it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.